A family of cavemen used to be afraid of the new, and the biggest crime for them is feeling curious. But one of them breaks the rule and dares to explore the unknown. With every sun comes a new day, a new beginning, a hope that things will be better today than they were yesterday. But not for Eep. She is a young girl who belongs to a family of cavemen, the Crudes. Most of the time they stay closed in the cave, sometimes for several days straight. They usually come out when they get hungry and must hunt for food. It's because of the harsh and hostile surrounding that killed all other families families like the Crudes. Eep's family survived just because of his father Grug's strength and his strict rules painted on the cave walls. According to these rules, anything new is bad. Curiosity is bad. Going out at night is bad. Basically, anything fun is bad. So this is Eep's world, but it's going to be changed in an instant. The Crudes aren't prepared for the change because they never thought of living anywhere else beside the cave. After staying trapped for three days, they get out for hunting, but Grug instructs them to follow his instructions and wait for signals. He's especially keeping an eye on Eep as she is behaving a little rebellious for the past few days. After scaring away the intruding animals, the family starts looking for food. They notice a bird egg and get ready to steal it. The bird doesn't let that happen so easily. Moreover, other predators are also after the egg. With great teamwork and dedication, the crude succeed in getting the egg. They distribute it among themselves, but it isn't enough to remove everyone's hunger. As the sun is setting in already, Grug tells everyone to head back inside the cave and wish to get a better prey next time. Eep wants to stay out for a little more, and her mother Uga allows her because she knows Eep doesn't like the cave. But Grug gets worried and calls her down. Eep agrees, but she suddenly notices a mysterious light and gets curious. It's already night and deadly beasts surround the cave. Eep has to listen to his father and get back in the cave. Grug tells her to stop looking for things. Fear is keeping them alive, and they should always be afraid. Grug also tells his family stories about animals and people who rebelled against their family and felt curious. They all eventually died while looking for something new. After the story time, they all go to sleep. In the middle of night, Eep notices a mysterious light coming inside the cave. She tries to catch the light, but can't. She checks if everyone is asleep so she can sneak out. She moves away a stone from the exit and gets out to follow the light. Eep notices a small fire, but doesn't know what it is. She keeps playing with it when a masked man appears behind him. Eep assumes it as a beast and attacks him, but the man takes off his mask and reveals that he is just a human. He introduces himself as Guy and tells Eep that he made the fire. Eep gets really impressed and wants to see how the fire was made. But Guy is in a hurry and invites Eep to travel along with him. According to him, they must leave this place as soon as possible because destruction is coming this way. The ground will tremble and crack and lava will spread out to kill every living being in sight. Eep refuses to join him as she must return to her family. So Guy gives her a seashell and asks her to blow it if she ever needs help. After he leaves, Eep returns to the cave and gets scolded by Grug for sneaking out. She tells her family that she has found something new, but the word new sends shivers down the crude spines. They also destroy her seashell. Eep gets really angry, but before she can react, the ground starts to tremble and crack. It's the prediction that Guy made. The crudes must leave this place, but Grug believes that only the cave can protect them. Before they can reach the cave, it gets destroyed by a huge falling stone. After the earthquake stops, Grug counts his family members and gets relieved to know that they all survived. Their home is destroyed, but the broken mountains reveal the beautiful forest on the other side. Grug is unsure of going to the forest, but when a beast attacks them the crudes are left with no other option than jumping in the forest. Grug instructs his family members to stay close to each other and keep looking for a cave. They come across several new animals and the crudes don't know how to deal with them. Suddenly, a tiger-like beast attacks them and they run into a hole that looks like a cave, but it was the mouth of a whale. It's spits them out and they land in front of the beast. But the beast retreats when he sees the night setting in. A huge swarm of red-colored birds fly around and eat everything in sight. Eep rushes to grab a horn, and she uses it to send a signal to Guy. Fortunately, he is nearby and runs there to help. He starts a fire and scares away the birds. Guy assumes that the crudes are wild cavemen who are no less than animals, so he instructs Eep to stay away from them. But Eep explains that they are a family. They are the crudes. Guy still feels doubtful because the crudes' behavior is of course weird. They get really excited to see the fire and want to get closer to it. Eep's younger brother Thunk accidentally catches fire on his clothes and he spreads it all around. The next morning, Guy decides to get away from this wild family as soon as possible, but Eep doesn't 
let him go. She also tries to convince his family that they need Guy's help to survive. He suggests that they should go to the faraway mountains to find a safe place. Grug refuses at first, but then he realizes that a calamity is coming their way for sure. He agrees to go to the mountains and also let Guy accompany them, but he puts Guy inside a tree log so he can't do anything sneaky. After traveling for several kilometers, the crude start to get hungry. They notice a bird and start chasing after its egg. Guy takes this chance and begs Eep to help him get out of the log. In exchange, he promises to teach her the right way to hunt. He sets a proper trap and lures the bird. It works, and the crudes enjoy a hearty meal after a really long time. Rug gathers everyone for story time. He tells them about a tiger who broke his family rules and trusted a stranger which caused the destruction of their cave, and they all died eventually. Rug is just indirectly mocking Eep because he believes that Guy is not trustworthy. Hearing this, Guy also decides to tell a story, but in his story the tiger doesn't die, but he learns how to fly and find a tomorrow. Guy is also after that place which he calls tomorrow. His story inspires everyone except Grug because he is still afraid of changes. When they wake up the next morning, the destruction has reached them already. Guy had almost died last night because of Grug's carelessness, so he doesn't want to stay with them anymore. They reach a place full of pointy rocks, and their feet hurt because they don't have any shoes except for Guy. He uses this chance to run away but starts to feel bad for the crudes. He agrees to help them, but they will not force him to stay inside the log. The deal is done and Guy prepares shoes for all of them. He also tells them how to use their brains to get more ideas, but Grug believes that the cavemen don't use brains. They have strength and that's enough for them. Afterward, the journey continues. They pass through several obstacles like boxing monkeys, deadly beasts, and rain, but Guy has a solution to everything. Moreover, a romantic relationship is blossoming between Eep and Guy, and Grug does like that at all. After a while, they reach the sea, and the crudes gets a bath for the first time in several years. They are getting closer to their destination, but they still need to pass the maze cliffs. Guy gives everyone a seashell and suggests that they should split up as it's the fastest way to cross the maze. Grug refuses to let his family get divided like this, especially Thunk as he is still young and naive. Suddenly an earthquake reaches there and forces the crudes to jump in the maze. Guy tells all of them to stay calm and keep moving forward. Uga, her young daughter Sandy and the granny land at the same place. They come across a field of carnivorous plants, but they use their brain to figure out a way. They tie up some flowers on their heads and trick the carnivorous plants. All three of them get out of the cave safely. Thunk is the most cowardly one and he is afraid to take a single step. Suddenly, he finds a beast who behaves like a loyal dog. Thunk befriends the beast, and it helps him get out of the maze. Meanwhile, Eep is helped by Guy, who shows her the right way by throwing flowers in the path. This makes Eep fall for him even harder. Everyone unites on the other side of the cave except for Grug. Uga volunteers to bring him and she advises him to stop acting so tough. They all are spending the night on the tree and invites Grug, but he refuses to join them because of Guy. The destruction can still be seen coming their way, and it makes the crudes uncomfortable. To cheer them up, Guy takes them to the highest branch of the tree. From there, they can see the stars. Guy explains that these all stars are like the sun, and they all rest at one place, which he calls tomorrow. Everyone will be happy there. Eep agrees to go wherever Guy takes her, but Uga is unsure of Grug's opinion. The granny tells Uga to follow Guy, as Grug doesn't have a brain, and he can never have ideas. Grug is listening to all this, and he gets determined to prove everyone wrong. The next morning, he disappears for several hours, and others keep looking for him. Grug suddenly appears with a weird plant on his head and a snake wrapped around his waist. He talks in a weird tone, and he keeps showing his useless inventions, which he calls revolutionary ideas. Grug only did this so others will respect him again like they do for Guy. Uga feels sorry for him and wishes that he accepts the new way of living as soon as possible. After traveling through another river, they finally reach the mountains. Grug notices a cave and tells his family to get inside it, but they all are done with living in the cave. They have decided to find Temora with Guy and want Grug to stop worrying so much. The cave only helped them survive, but it didn't let them live freely. Hearing this, Grug gets enraged and runs after Guy to beat him. They both slip and fall in molten coal tar. Grug keeps struggling, but Guy tells him that it's not that easy to get out of it. Guy's parents died by drowning in the tar, but they advised Guy not to hide from difficulties. He has to live and follow the sun, and if he keeps following the light, he will reach the tomorrow. Guy still remembers these words, and that's why he is searching for tomorrow. After hearing the story, Grug realizes that he has been too harsh on Guy. Though he is young, his ideas are unbeatable, and they need another of his ideas to get out of the current problem. With the help of his pet, Guy lures a beast towards them. The beast pulls them out of the tar, and Guy finally wins the caveman trust. 
They unite with the others and run towards the sun in search of tomorrow. However, heavy smoke surrounds them and there's no path in front. Guy starts to doubt himself. Maybe the place he is looking for doesn't exist. Uga takes control and tells everyone that they must find a cave and hide but Grug stops her. There's no more hiding. What's the point of coming so far if they are going to give up right now? They don't know what's on the other side of the cliff, but they have to take the risk. Grug doesn't have ideas, but he has the strength which he uses to throw Guy on the other side. Once he receives a signal from Guy, Grug throws the rest of his family members on the other side too. He tries to jump, but the ground keeps sliding away, so Grug takes shelter in a cave where he draws his beloved family, including Guy. If he wants to survive this situation, he must think like Guy. After several attempts, Grug finally gets an idea. He befriends the beast and uses it to lure the red birds. Grug uses an old skeleton as a flying ship and saves as many living beings as possible. On the other side, Eep and others are blowing the seashells continuously in hope of getting a response from Grug. Suddenly, Grug lands there on his unusual ship. After getting back together, they continue their journey and reach a gorgeous beach. Their world is still harsh and hostile, but now the Croods know how to survive it because they have changed the rules that kept them in the dark.